Today we will be creating a model of the water cycle using just a few household materials. For this activity, you will need a Ziploc bag of any size, a medium sized bag is great, a permanent marker to write with, such as a Sharpie, a fine point is fine, or a thin Sharpie is great too. Tape, just a few pieces, and water. Now that we have our materials, let's begin. First, draw a sun at the top left corner like this, alternating long and short lines around a circle. Next, about three centimeters from the bottom of the bag, draw some waves to represent water that is being collected on Earth. And we'll label this collection, which is spelled C-O-L-L-E-C-T-I-O-N. This represents all of the water that is collected on Earth in oceans, lakes, rivers, and many more locations. Now, when the sun heats the water, how does the water move? It undergoes evaporation. This is when liquid water changes to the gas form of water, also known as water vapor. So we'll draw some curved arrows to represent this and label evaporation. E-V-A-P-O-R-A-T-I-O-N. From collection to evaporation, we are moving next to some clouds. We know that once water vapor is in the sky, it also goes through a cooling process with time. And this is what we call condensation. When water droplets condense, they form clouds as they return back to liquid form. Condensation is spelled C-O-N-D-E-N-S-A-T-I-O-N. Next, draw some arrows pointing downwards from the clouds to the ocean because we are showing the final process of precipitation. When the water droplets get too heavy, they precipitate downwards in the form of snow, sleet, hail, and rain. So we'll draw some water droplets to represent the water that has now become too heavy to be held in the atmosphere, in clouds, and is falling back to the earth. And there we have it. We have completed our drawing of collection, evaporation, condensation, and precipitation, which will continue to cycle over and over again to represent how water cycles on Earth. Now open your Ziploc bag and pour just enough water in so that it fills up to the line where you drew the waves. We don't want too much water because then it will be much too heavy. Seal your bag tightly and then grab two pieces of tape or more depending on how many you will need and find a window in your home where you get a lot of sunlight throughout the day. And you're going to try your best to secure this bag on the window just like so. And that's it! You have successfully created a model of the water cycle. Now all you have to do is wait a few days and as the sun naturally heats the water inside the bag, you should be able to see the water go through all of the processes of the water cycle.